So here we have a trigonometric identity to prove which is sine to the power of 4x minus cos to the power of 4x equals to 1 minus 2 cos square x. Now here what we can do is we can utilize the algebraic identities to prove this. I hope you remember what is a square minus b square equals to, right? So, you know, a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b, right? So we are going to use this property here to solve our, our equation, right? And let's do that. So what we can do is we can start with the left side. So, so if we start with left side, left side is equals to sine, I can write this as sine squared x whole squared. Do you see that? It becomes sine to the power of 4x. And cos squared x to the power of square. So that is my left side. Is that okay? So now I will use a square minus b square equals to a plus b times a minus b. So basically, I'll factor this, right? So if I do that, I get sine square x, my a is sine square x, plus cos square x times sine square x minus cos square x. Is it okay? Now from here, sine square x plus cos square x is 1, correct? That is the Pythagorean identity which we know about. So this is 1. So we know, what we know is sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. That is called Pythagorean identity, right? So we are left with sine square x minus cos square x. Now what do we need? We need 1 minus 2 cos square x. That means we don't need sine square x on the left side. So what we can do is, from this Pythagorean identity, we can replace sine square x by 1 minus cos square x. Now from here, it can be some, sine square x can be written as 1 minus cos square x, correct? So we'll use this property here, right? So we'll say, well, sine square x is 1 minus cos square x. And we already have minus cos square x here, correct? Now, this is 1 minus 2 cos square x, which is same as our right side, right? So we started with left side and we got our right side. So we'll, well, left side equals to right side. And therefore, the identity has been proved, okay? Thank you.